but after the fact. Um, but it has to do with the Angel Tree yeah. Foundation the, um, that uh, happened at Christmas time. I was very, very privileged, and I thank you very much, Michelle, for for that privilege of um, delivering some gifts to uh, to three of the families, mm -hmm. and it was just. Um, it was, it was quite an experience, and if, if none of you have ever done that, I mean, it's easy to be behind the scenes and buy the gifts, which is wonderful, but to actually deliver these gifts to these families, to the children, um, is a really uh, memorable experience, and um, so it was really great, and I just wanted to say thank you. Why did you share that long story that you had with me? Oh, gosh, I, I don't know. There were so many stories. Um, the one, uh, this, uh, I pulled up to the house, and I was by myself. And um, the, uh, the, one of the little girls, one of the children, was out on the porch. And I walked up and told her, you know, what I was, I, I actually I asked for her mother. And she said, well, my mom's not here. And then an older woman came out, and it was her grandmother. So she couldn't speak any English, but the little girl was uh, doing the translating, and um, and I told her who I was, and, and she said, oh, and I, I knew from the piece of paper that the name of the person in prison, that was in prison, his name was Esteban. And so she said, oh, these are from Esteban. And I said, yes, yes, these are from, from Esteban. And, and she turned around, she turned her back to me, and I didn't really get what was going on for a moment, and then she turned back around, and she was just sobbing, crying, and she said, that's my son. Mm -hmm. And um, and so, you know, I, I just hugged her and loved on her, and, um, and she said, and this is his daughter. And the little girl, she, she said with, with such pride in her voice, she said, that's my dad. Mm -hmm. And um, it just was so touching, and and a reminder that, you know, regardless of what these people have done, whatever the reason is that they're in prison, the, the choices that they've made, they have loved ones that, that are waiting for them. And, um, and it's very hard and very painful for these people that, that have loved ones in prison, and especially the children. But it was, it was to share Christ's love that way was was very powerful to me, and I, I will never forget it. Um, and I want to do it every year for sure.